Our next speaker brings a welcome dose of humor in everything that he shares with us, uh, with, with us which we love. He's going to do something unique tonight. He's going to share with us spe a speech that he gave three days ago in the other Toastmasters group. He took their suggestions. He's incorporating them tonight, so this is going to be an even better speech because of that. Uh, ha hashtag 10 speeches in 10 days is what this is called. The purpose is to inform or inspire five to seven minutes. Quote from Cole G.P. Suddenly it's May. What have you done in April to, towards your public speaking objective? Cold GP tree traces a couple of weeks of Toastmaster Steve Atkins. Who knows Steve Atkins? Do people know Something. Let's see how it can relate to your speaking objectives. Cole. Pass them down. I'm inspired by the speech I just heard, and I'm going to give you another dose of starting over. And starting over specifically with Toastmasters. Because my friend Steve Atkins, a little backstory, we were both members of a San Francisco club called Sierra Speakers, Steve and I. Steve's gone on to bigger, better things. And I was kicked out of San Francisco and I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is a veteran Toastmaster. He just paid his dues a few weeks ago, the last part of March, and he mentioned, I want to shake things up. So instead of giving a speech a month, or a speech every two months, which was his rate, because he has a kid, two kids, two dogs, a wife, and a busy life. Steve said, I'm going to do the CC manual from beginning to end in 10 days. You put on Facebook, of course, that makes it real. That forces you to do it. All of your friends see it, even if they're not in Toastmasters, they're writing Steve, what is this all about? So it was out there, so he couldn't crawl under a rock and say, well, that means 10 speeches in a year, but it means 10 speeches in 10 days. I copied it out of his CC manual, and you see the proof. He started April 6th took off Sunday because he couldn't find a club that met that Sunday, and doubled down and gave two speeches on Thursday. Wow. Wow, I say. Wow, you say. Because it is tough. I'm here today to tell you some experiences that Steve shared with me from those 10 speeches. Not so much about the speeches himself, but things that could probably help you, because things always go wrong when we're about to give a speech. Little things we don't count on. Like, Steve gave a second speech, UC Berkeley. All of a sudden, he goes into the engineering building where the Toastmasters Club beats, a lot of fluorescent lights, and all of a sudden, his right eye starts twitching. Incredibly, uncontrollably twitching. And he's got to be cool and give a speech. And he said that was pretty tormenting to stand there and smile when you're twitching up a storm. What can I say to get you out of that predicament? Nothing. you got to be prepared because stuff happens. Your eyes, nose, throat, or other <coughs> body parts. But that's what life as a public speaker is all about. Speaking of throat, this is probably a funny one. I think it was funny. He went to one club. I think that was speech number five. And it's a small club. They only had a few people. So they asked Steve, why don't you be an evaluator? Steve, of course, yeah, I'd love to be an evaluator. He evaluated the guy, and his critique was, do you keep clearing your throat? <coughs> <coughs> and he actually did that to demonstrate, you know, show what you mean, mean what you say. All right, Steve does the evaluation, they clap. Maybe they didn't like it because they were picking on his own. So Steve gets up to do his speech, and all of a sudden, his throat it's bugging him. <laughs> That's the Toastmaster God smiling on you in a negative way. Solution for that? Nope. You just got to be prepared. Ten speeches in ten days. Be prepared. Another highlight. Steve said the best place he gave his speeches were, I think it was in San Francisco. There's a really cool building. I've been in there. And it's open to the public. 
It's a credit card company, Pete's Coffee. Three levels, big bag chairs everywhere, really cool. And if you have a Capital One credit card, half price on your pastry. Next time you're in San Francisco, go there. Capital One, Rotunda, or something like that. It's a really cool Toastmasters Club. All right. Steve had some more advice that he gave me. This one I like. One of the clubs had five people. He was the guest, and there were five people in the audience. And Steve said, didn't really feel like giving a speech because there was no one there. So Steve's advice, because he's been through that before, is he imagined what it was like in one of the other speeches a couple nights before when there were 41 people. And he just literally had that in his mind, the people, the energy, the noise, the tension. And that got him through the speech because I agree. I think it's more difficult to give a speech in front of five people than 50. Just because it's sort of like giving a speech in the bathroom to yourself. You want energy, you want people. Another piece of advice from Steve Atkins was how do you inspire yourself? Steve's from San Francisco, he's a sports nut, Golden, Golden State Warrior nut, Steph Curry, always talk about him. And that's his advice. He watches sports all the time, so he sees something on TV the night before, a baseball player, a basketball player, a great play, a great performance. And when he gets up to speak, he is that player. He embodies that energy, something exciting, something powerful. And he uses that image to get him through the speech. And he says he never uses the same image. He's watching TV the night before, if it's not sports, maybe a TV show, something that he can identify and become that image. Bottom line, you guys want to do something like that, 10 speeches in 10 days? We actually had one member of our club did something similar, Kurt Thomas did, he was going to do 30 speeches in 30 days. He ended up doing 12 speeches in 15 days. And he got, got bored. <laughs> it is possible one of our own did that. And he, I asked him his experiences, and he has really fond memories that really amped up his life, his Toastmaster, his public speaking confidence. Once you do something like that, nothing else compares because you're on the road, you're not in your home club, and you met an incredible goal. So advice to you, you don't have to do 10 speeches in 10 days, 12 and 15, but come up with something unique, something powerful, something high energy that you can do. Put it up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram to make yourself accountable and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Trump,